All right, hello, hello. Welcome back to Afternoon Drive. It is a beautiful Thursday in Newburyport. It's hot and, I don't know, feels nice. I like it. Sun's out. Nice after a night of rain. Uh, hopefully, I got through that last night. It was a little bit stormy out there. Uh, the dogs were going crazy at my house. My puppy does not like the thunder. Kept me up all night. I'm working on, like, probably 30 minutes sleep. So uh, I'll try to stay awake. Just kidding. I have coffee. That's how we do that. Uh, my name is Drew Mahal, and we do this every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, thanks for joining us again. Uh, we've almost made it to the end of the week here. Fast week, actually. I feel like it went by fast on my end. Uh, Lexi is here. Lexi fully producing today. Tyler Newfell running around making my life easy. It's funny. I just looked. I actually got uh, cut 3 o'clock. Kind of caught me off guard. I was talking to our guests off the air uh, who are going to be Jason Jason Tomiyashi and John Donovan, Newburyport Football. Uh, they're in the house. We'll have them on here after the break in just a moment. They're already here and ready to go, though, so that's good. Um, Patriots get going tonight. Um, I don't really care about that very much. Preseason football, not a big, uh, doesn't really do it for me. I am wearing the Patriots shirt today, I guess, in support. But uh, football season's almost here. Red Sox got rained, well, suspended last night. Top of the tent, bullpen blows another game, yada, yada, yada. Uh, why do I keep saying that lately? I keep doing the yada. I think I watched that Seinfeld, the yada, yada Seinfeld, and I've been joking about it, and I keep saying it now on the radio. It's silly. Um, but they're going to like replay that one inning in um, two weeks or so. Um, hopefully the Sox are still in it by then. Uh, the weather was obviously the story overnight. Uh, ugly thunderstorms, rain. Uh, my pool's a mess in the backyard. The dogs were angry. It was a long night. I did not enjoy the thunderstorms last night. Usually I like a good storm. I've decided with the puppy, I do not. No more storms. I'm good with those. Um, weekend plans, I don't know. We'll get into those later. we got a lot going on here at the station. Uh, and don't forget, you can get this show and all past shows uh, at ncmhub.org. That's ncmhub. Dot org. Go to the top right. You can click on the YouTube and watch the whole video like this. Or if you're driving and you just want the podcast, nice, clear, crystal audio, click on the um, SoundCloud up top. Tyler does a really good job of getting those things on there. So any past shows, go find them, all that stuff at ncmhub.org. And don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter as well. I'll get that out. If you have any questions for our guests, I should always be better about that. Um, send questions to at Joppa Afternoons, J-O-P-P-A Afternoons on Twitter. That's at Joppa Afternoons. Why don't I get out of the way? My guests are already here, ready to go, so we'll get to them in just a moment. Um, keep it here. Be right back. Should be fun. A little Newburyport football talk in a moment here on Afternoon Drive. Keep it here. All right. There's our friend right there, EJ Ouellette on Joppa Afternoon Drive. Hello, EJ, big listener. We got the Newburyport football in the house today. Jason Tamayoshi and John Donovan. Hey, boys. How are you? Good. Thanks for. Oh, don't forget the microphone. There you go. Pull that thing when you talk, and just uh, you're not going to break it, so you're all good. Um, but good to have you guys on. This is uh, unbelievable. Can you believe it's almost football season? Exciting. It is exciting. It's is it? Long. Is it like a mixed bag of uh, of you know football is here, but like you got to go back to school, or is it all? It's probably all excitement, right? It's it's mostly excitement. Mostly excitement. Yeah. Yeah. A couple things you're dreading, but <laughs> what's the uh, so what's what's the schedule? You said week from Friday you hit the field. Is that right? Yes, yeah. Sir. Can you guys get together as like uh, players, or are there rules against that, or have you guys gotten together already? Uh, we have. Yeah. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings, we've been meeting early. Our coaches help us practice. We just get like a pre preseason going. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. cool. And they just uh, set it up. We just kind of just go through stuff. <laughs> so okay, so you, and the, what, the captains run it, or yeah, for the most part. All right. Um, do you guys know? I, uh, your coach was kind of telling me a little bit about you, just really quickly. Uh, coach uh, Ben Smolski. You guys like playing for him? Seems like a good guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a great coach. He'll be on the show Tuesday, actually, as we kind of ramp into football uh, mode here. Um, he's, he was busy when I called him last time. He was uh, running around with kids and stuff. So you, those guys hang out at the practice at all, the kids? Yeah, um, <laughs> all the coaches bring in their kids every <laughs> once in a while. That's funny. What, how, he's got young ones, right? Two yeah. and uh, three, I think. Two, two and three? Or? Uh, no, the, the other one's a little bit older. A little older? Oh, is like five. Yeah. All right, so for toddler and five. Yeah. Though. Busy man to be coaching a football mm -hmm. team with. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys can probably tell when he had, hasn't had any sleep coming in. <laughs> Extra laps for you guys. Yep. Uh, so what do we need to know about Newburyport football this year? I'll start with uh, Jason. Why don't you take the mic and go first? Give me a little rundown. Well, uh, you know we've been putting a lot of work in in the off season. Um, I'm expecting this year to be great. Yeah. I mean, I got a we got a huge amount of people that can and will be great this year, including this guy over here. Um, a couple of us have taken on leadership roles, which is great to see. Yep. Because at the moment we only have one captain, but um, who's yeah. that? Uh, Trevor Foley. Okay. 
he was a captain as a junior as well. Oh, wow. I mean, so, yeah, you guys were young last year. Yeah. <laughs> so that usually we'll be means young good things. Young again this year. Young again this year. But Always, yeah. What's, uh, so how, how, you guys are how old? We're both going to, we're both going to be juniors. Okay. So you, wow, that's kind of exciting. <laughs> Veterans and then you still have another year after this. Yeah. What, um, last year's record again, remind me. I think we were five and six. Five at the and end six. Of yeah, you guys kind of battled to get to, to five and six. Uh, do you feel like this year you can hit some of those close games that maybe went against you later or whatever, can maybe turn the other way and suddenly you're, you know, you go from five and six to something better? Yeah, I feel like uh, last year we definitely let a lot of, we left a lot of stuff on the field. Yeah. Uh, there were a lot of games where we could have capitalized, we could have done a lot better. Um, and I feel like this year is going to be the year where we really change that around and we make winning a tradition again. There you go. Good job. What, uh, what, what position are you playing? Uh, I'm a left tackle and defensive end. Okay, cool. The uh, it, it's right because people forget you play in both ways a lot, especially yeah. these days in high school. Because you guys had small numbers last year, didn't you? It wasn't uh, it yeah. wasn't a huge roster. Yeah, um, we didn't really have that many kids, especially in the senior and junior class. There weren't too many kids, but yeah, yeah. Um, our class going to be juniors. There's a lot of kids playing, so yeah. that's what we're excited to see. That's good. So you guys, th you think you'll have a bigger roster this year, though? Yeah, that's good. Maybe you can take a breather every once in a while. Yeah, <laughs> it is true, right? Especially you're playing two positions, right? That I mean, there's no plays off when you're playing the line on both sides so, yeah. right i mean every every snap you're hitting somebody i don't think people realize how draining that can be like at the end of the day mm -hmm. you must be going home on friday nights like I'm just gonna lay here for the rest of the weekend if you don't mind <laughs> yeah it's definitely tiring but it's worth it for a win i guess but uh but it must be i mean it, even you would probably like to see a little bit more depth if i had to guess right <laughs> what uh for any like a big freshman crew coming in is that going to help pick up the uh, build up the roster or? um there are a couple freshmen coming in some are like they have a very athletic class but there yeah. aren't too many kids coming in but gotcha. we are excited to see some of those few top kids see what they can do what's the um what's the vibe after last year's season was it uh i mean so you know you have five and six records that sometimes are just like real disappointments but sometimes you have years that are five and six and it was like you know we really worked hard to get there and we were a young team and there's a lot of positives out of that was that kind of the feeling last year i was kind of getting that feeling um i feel like we all knew like five and six was it was solid, but I feel like we all knew we could do better. Yeah. And we yeah. wanted to do better. I think yeah. that's the whole motto going into this year. Like, uh, I mean, yep. I mean, last year was definitely like a, a learning year for us, yeah, considering yeah. how young we were. But this year is where I feel like we're all going to put it together. Yeah. Okay. And it's gonna, it's gonna be a one hell of a ride. <laughs> Do you guys open up uh, against Triton? Is that right? I see that. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's a, it's kind of a uh, right into it sort of game, huh? Definitely. One of the big rivals. I mean, there's rivalries, I guess, every week when you're playing in the Cape Ann League, but that's kind of a, I, I don't know. Would you rather open with somebody like, I don't know, Beverly or something? <laughs> somebody that's not like a <laughs> big rivalry like that and maybe get your feet wet? Or Well, I feel like um, starting with Triton this year is definitely ramped up the excitement incredibly. A little more uh, urgency right off the bat? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. I feel like I feel like going into this first game is going to be so many butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it true? I mean, even you guys are you guys have had experience now. You're juniors, and you know you're comfortable with the in your own high school shoes and all that stuff. But even so, you get those jitters, right? I yeah. Mean, you still get them before every game. It's yes, right before the game starts. It's just <laughs> after that first hit, you're fine, but it's it sick, takes a hit. sickening before that. The <laughs> first really? three to four hours before the game is just... Three to four oh, hours? Man. Are you kidding me? Uh, no, I'm really? not kidding you. As soon as you get out of school. No kidding. That's wow, that's funny to hear. Three to four hours before the game. That's all, okay. Your par the parents must be like, the kids are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, so you need a hit to get you going. Yeah, it's Definitely. just once you're like, all right. I'm actually here. Like you realize, okay, you're actually in a football game. You're like, okay, got to focus. Yeah. All right. That hurts. So now yeah. let's, get, <laughs> let's, let's get ourselves together now. Um, all right. Well, that's interesting. So you guys, it seems like your Fridays are just terribly unenjoyable. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, it's a good kind of butterflies. I know. Um, how about playing in front of those? I mean, is there anything better than playing under the lights? Beautiful stadium, Friday night, New Report. It's a pretty fun atmosphere, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. It's awesome to just look up every once in a while, see all your friends and family sitting up there cheering for you. It's yeah. great to see. Yeah, it's like um, you're on the other side of it now because you grew up watching the games on the sidelines and all that. Did you know, know when you were a kid going to those games that like – well, I definitely am playing football, and I would definitely yes. want to do that someday. Yeah, that, guys, was, yeah. that was always the thing. <laughs> yeah. That was what we always looked forward to, uh, playing together in youth. I mean, I played with this kid since third grade. Yeah. So, I mean – 
we're here now. So is that a lot of you guys? You guys a tight team in that regard? Yes, you know definitely. each other for years. Yeah, there's a lot of kids that have been together since we first started playing. That's yeah, good. very solid core. Cool. How about, so you say you have one captain. Uh, name again, sorry. Trevor Foley. Trevor Foley. Um, and he's he's a senior. Yes. So that's yeah. So he gets the captain uh, honors. How about the? Do you envision more captains being named, or you envision like a lot of guys that are essentially going to be captains uh, and going to be leaders, maybe just without the official title? I, I can see a lot more. I can see a lot of kids on our team like in that leadership role. Yeah. Um, honestly, couldn't tell you if we're gonna have more captains or not, but yeah. Um, you guys don't really care about that stuff. Yeah. Anyway. At this point, <laughs> the title isn't what matters. It's just what you can do and what you can't do. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit about Coach Foley and stuff. This is year what? Is it three for him? I believe so. Three? Yeah. Has he been there the whole, the whole time you guys have been yes. in high school? Yeah. So yeah. There you go. So that's that's three. It's, I don't think it's more than three. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's three for him. So uh, the, you guys are kind of his first class, which is kind of cool actually. You yeah. See how much progress his progress is your progress. So there you go. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, let's talk about him and his staff a little bit. I know he's a Newburyport guy. He knows the tradition and all that stuff. Is it one of those things where? You guys are always kind of hearing about tradition and with what we have to get back to that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of like, like it's it's he can give us a ga- examples of like things that have happened and it just kind of helps us gives a little motivation to yeah. keep going and carry on the tradition. Yeah. Yeah. On Thursday nights, we always have speakers come in, like past players, past coaches. Yeah, I didn't realize you guys always did that. I learned that last year. It's a, <laughs> it's a cool little uh, thing. Yeah, it's great. It's, it pumps everybody up, um, gets all the competitive juices flowing. I guess, but. Uh, um, I guess it's really just there to remind us of what what the past has been like and what we can make yeah. our time here like because there's been so much success and so much stuff happening in the past and I feel like we can definitely make that happen again. Absolutely. The um, it's a, uh, do, you, do you ever, I mean, you get the butterflies, but do you feel like, you know, the guys that have left before you, uh, I'm sure you have some role models that maybe you looked up as, mm-hmm. as captains or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, you get, who, who was mentioning the Tulins earlier? What do you guys, we had the Tulins on the show. Um, you know, months ago, uh, and you said you guys are family friends, but those guys were pretty good, uh, pretty good football players there, and I think I heard very good captains. Um, do you kind of feel like a, a responsibility to live up to those guys who have come before you too? Yeah, it's also, I mean, just knowing some of the kids, like, like I guess still staying in touch with some of the kids who have graduated, it's just nice to, like, see them every once in a while and be like, hey, we're doing this now with the football team. Yeah. Like, we're still doing good. Yeah, still staying cool. strong. You guys actually stay in touch with them too. Yeah, oh, definitely. Cool. They come to games and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see them all the time. Every uh, Thanksgiving game, you see. Oh uh, well, I know that. That's <laughs> different. That's that. Well, that is true. <laughs> but you see all sorts of people t- come out at, during the games, and I mean, it's just cool to see that all the history. Who did you guys have for uh, speakers last year? I'm always curious to see who the coaches bring um, in for. I can't list any names off <laughs> yeah, the top of my head. <laughs> can't remember but any names, but a yeah. lot of coaches, a lot of yeah. um, post like players. Just people who are there to really just get you in that right mentality for the game the next day. I bet, and uh, and probably past players too. Bring yeah. in past players. Yeah, that's the that's pretty sweet. The uh, I'm trying to think of who. Uh, so Trayton has had kind of a big passing attack in recent years, right? Mm-hmm. I like to throw the ball. Is that a tough test right off the gate on a Friday night season opener? Like are they're gonna air it out? I don't know if they're still gonna do that. I know they have a different coach, I think, and maybe a different philosophy. But I, they used to kind of throw the ball a lot. Well, I mean, last year that's kind of what we expected them to do, but. Um, they just flipped the script on us in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they give a, or we get film before games just to kind of study up and see what we're going up against. Right. And these guys just completely did not do what the film showed. Really. So the first half we were, we were on our heels a little bit, but I mean, we made the adjustment. We came back and we won the game. So I guess that's that, that's that was a that thriller, was wasn't it? If I remember correctly. Yeah, that was an incredible game to play. Fifteen fourteen. Fifteen fourteen. Yeah. How'd that finish? What was that final drive situation? Or? Yeah, final drive two point conversion. Two point conversion. It. That's yeah. right. I remember it. That How, was awesome. You, that was one of the best wins of the year. Definitely, yeah. definitely. How the uh, so when did you when did you score to get down one? I think it was right at the beginning of the second yeah, half. Yeah, I was gonna say. So, I mean, we were scoreless in the first half, and then once we made the adjustment on our defensive side of the ball. Um, from there on, it was just us. So who makes the uh, who makes the addition to uh, who makes the call to go for two? Is that just uh, you know more confidence in the two than the kicker, or what? Is that or did you just want to uh, go for the lead? We wanted was, to win. It was Smolski. <laughs> it was just him going. We're not going for a tie. We're Let's winning take this the lead. thing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys must have loved that. That's yeah. a competitive edge. <laughs> That's cool. Um, but I don't know. You guys. I'm sure you guys know. Jason Donlin is checking in. Says hello. <laughs> He's asking a question. Hi, Coach Donlin. I should make sure. I should make sure it's appropriate before. Uh, <laughs> Where's Floopy? Oh, that's that's one of that's his son. That's one of our good friends. Oh, uh, okay. 
You can invite him in if you'd like. Um, come on, in, come on down. Yep. Oh yeah, is that what he's doing? Yeah. Summer job. You guys get summer jobs? Yeah, I'm working at Beach Coma out on Plum Island. Oh, nice. Yeah. No, that sounds yeah. like a good little summer gig. Yeah. I'm busting tables over at Angie's Diner. Okay, nice. Which one? Angie's is close to here, right? Not um, Pleasant Street. Ple- oh, Pleasant Street. Okay. I think I've been to Angie's. Good. <laughs> well, that's exciting. Um, good little side cash for the summer. You guys ditching that when school comes around? Uh, I'm gonna try and keep it on Sundays every now and then. Yep, that's but, cool. But uh, once football hits, it's it's gotta be football. <laughs> yeah, football first. Yeah, well, and you're playing both ways. So you're gonna be tired, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how about the uh, how about like these first few weeks? I remember like the f- other sports always used to be like when you'd start doing the and it's a little different now. I think are double sessions a little bit easier than they used to be. Yeah, I think they're taking more into account like yeah. heat stroke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like. <laughs> that's well said. <laughs> yes, I think you're right. Yeah, um, yeah, that's the whole. It was not you guys seem to remember the Titans, right? Yeah, I was thinking. Uh, you just think about how the world has changed. Like when Denzel is talking about how water, water makes you weak. Yeah. <laughs> water is for washing blood off your uniform. Yeah. Don't get blood on my uniform. That's like the world has changed a little bit. Yeah. But even when I was going to high school, it was like people would always watch the football guys like running and running and running and. Like, yeah, oh, that sounds guy, right. That guy, you know, I think yeah, you still do a lot of it, but you know, oh yeah, look at that kid passed out in the summertime. I guess, <laughs> I guess it's probably time to stop. Like you want to stop before then now if you're a coach because uh, you can get into some trouble. But is it yeah. still double sessions or? Yeah, we have two of them. Um, I think the second week of practice. Okay. And, and personally, I kind of look forward to them because, I mean, the first half of it it really isn't that difficult, but then we get lunch. <laughs> so, uh, and we get Port City, and we got Port City sandwich last year, and that was uh, definitely worth it. <laughs> a clear man working in the restaurant industry, very excited about the lunch. Very good. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> free lunch, right? Yeah. Or is it free? I don't know. I, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> probably, somebody has to pay for it somewhere. But <laughs> um, well, that's cool. So you don't even mind the double sessions. You do you like the double double sessions, John? Yeah, they're tiring, but I mean, it's fun. You're playing football. You're with your friends. Yeah. It's. It's not as bad as it seems. Are there like standard things you have to meet? Like, do you have to? Like, I think I remember like kids. I never. I wasn't a football guy, but um, I remember like my buddies were saying like you got to run a mile in a certain amount of time if you're a lineman. Do you still have to do that or? Not anymore. Mm, no, but anymore. Okay. they're still expecting you to be in shape, strong, yeah. and conditioned before the season, the season starts. Yeah. <laughs> they I, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the uh, the football coaches as a whole tend not to enjoy the kid that comes in and off the off season completely out of shape. If uh, my yeah. yeah, that's definitely correct. <laughs> One of those things that has never changed over the years. <laughs> I mean, it's um, always been like like they we run a camp or there's a camp in the summer called Peak Performance, and yeah. it's basically just a, an, an endurance and conditioning program. And coaches expect you to kind of do that and lift, which is, I mean, it's really not that bad, but yeah, you should be in shape going into the season. I, well, I would think you would want to be, yes. Yeah. It's probably when you're, and you get a team too that you said is tight and you want to be good, it's probably you don't want to let your teammates down too. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and I'm sure for the kids that didn't put the work in, I'm sure you're letting them hear it a little <laughs> bit in the locker room. Right? Yeah. Is that the best part about a football team? I always think like the, uh, it's kind of like the one thing you miss if you're like just you know playing baseball or like tennis or something else in high school like um it's just not the same as, as like locker room thing yeah. as the football like football you go into halftime and you get the rah-rah speeches and yeah. maybe somebody stand sometimes those are your best moments of the season is when somebody stands up and makes a big speech and you rally and make a comeback win and then you celebrate in the locker room at the end um did, is that kind of like the difference between the other sports is that kind of close bond of the football team and the locker room and yeah, so I play hockey and lacrosse. Hockey has it a little bit too. So, yeah. I mean, just the difference with football is after the win, everyone in the locker room just jumping around, celebrating, <laughs> high five, high yeah, fiving. Yeah. It's it's great. One big party. Yeah. I don't think there's any other sport that plays Kesha after a big win. So, Kesha is the, <laughs> Kesha is the okay. What is the, what is the song of, uh, that you play? Um, or is it any Kesha? Is it Timber? Oh, uh, Timber. I Timber. think it's Timber. <laughs> uh, that's a big one. Even I know that one. I, I thought for sure I wasn't gonna. I know that song. Okay, good. Uh, so every game, every win. Uh, not every win, but most of them. The big ones. <laughs> it ends up in this playlist. What's the yeah. uh, wh- what's like the pregame music? Who's who's in charge? Um, it's got to be somebody in charge of this thing, right? You can't just be having like Barry Manilow playing. Yeah, in the no, um, <laughs> we haven't decided that yet, but it's usually just like. My dad loves Barry Manilow. He's gonna be very upset <laughs> with that dig I took. Um, yeah, it's usually just rock music, get everyone yeah. focused, but then like at, bef- right before we get out, we shut off. Everyone's yep. in their own head focusing. Okay. Sidetrack again. Silence. Just in the locker room. Just silence. All right. When's the silence? For the um, maybe tw- like... 20 minutes leading up? 
honestly, I'd say right before we go out, yeah, everybody, yeah. a couple minutes we, before, we make sure everybody gets quiet, just and then be with your own thoughts. Exactly. Just take a few minutes, prepare yourself. Is that when the butterflies are completely amped up? Yeah. yeah that's that's <laughs> complete stress case. Do not bother me. Yep, yeah. Definitely. Right. Okay. Stay away. <laughs> from Jason and John as we approach kickoff. Um, what is, and a sidetrack, what is uh, rock music for uh, the high school kid these days in Newburyport? What, what, what? Well, it's it's the same. You got your ACDC, oh, Led right. Zeppelin. Wow, um, okay. Yeah. All right, so I was expecting the basics. some new names. Sorry. Old, <laughs> kind of old school. Yeah. All right. I mean, we got old school coaches too, so that kind of <laughs> That's true. They steer it well. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is that what Coach Smolsky's into? Yeah. Yes. The they love their rock yeah. music. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. You can get your head around that. Um, again, we're joined here by Jason Tamayashi, John Donovan, Newburyport Football. Um, I didn't ask you what you're playing, Jason. What position are you playing? Uh, I play wide receiver and I play cornerback. Oh, all right. Flashy position. See, <laughs> that's good. Lyman and a uh, and the guy on the highlight reel. Very good. What's hey, the, uh, he, he deserves a highlight reel, too. Yeah, I'm sure he could have plenty of time. <laughs> Nothing would happen without these guys. <laughs> but, uh, so are you guys going to throw the ball a little bit? Are you one of those guys that's like, let's demand, let's let's air it out a little bit this year? Or? Well, I mean, as long as we're gaining yards, <laughs> I'm okay with it. Good I answer, mean, but you want the ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I do, do want I. the ball. <laughs> so he does, too. <laughs> do you get... Do you, no, never get no, the ball. No. You gotta get them on like a two point conversion or something. You get a big lead. You yeah. gotta give the. You gotta give the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you can't. Shh, you can't reveal our plans. <laughs> uh, oh, right, sorry. I didn't step on anything. Um, so, wide receiver. Is, who's the quarterback this year? Charlie Kalen. Ch- okay. So far, not really. He's he's the guy. Yes. Okay. He's no doubt. <laughs> You're like he's my quarterback. Yes. Yeah. Um, you guys, do you guys like work in the off season, r- running routes or anything, or is it kind of just amped up now? You're. You're, you guys are spending a lot of time together. Wide yeah. receiver, quarterback relationship. Definitely. I mean, um, I know Charlie did a lot of work, like a lot of work in the off season. Yeah. Um, just seeing him from last season and now, it's like a totally different guy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. He's not that. leaving you out to dry over the middle this year. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> I mean, the chemistry is definitely there already. We just got to work on repetition, repetition until we have it down to. A you guys gonna be like Tom Brady and. Edelman hanging out on the beach, I hope so. <laughs> throwing throwing routes. Charlie, if you hear this, bring me to the beach. <laughs> bring you to the beach. <laughs> there you go. I don't think you want to go right now. It's this is actual beach season. So yeah, a little crowded. That'd be hilarious though if you're running routes through good harbor. <laughs> um, uh, again, this is Joppa Afternoon Drive here. My name is Drew Mulholland. Talking a little bit of Newburyport football before they get going on uh, Friday. The what, what day is it? On the 16th. Well, you guys practice, but the first game is first game is. I believe the, it's on like the sixth. The following Saturday. It feels kind of quick, actually. Like, I was thinking that if you technically don't get to get on the practice field until the 16th, mm-hmm. and then you're turning around the first week of September, you guys are in action. Like, game time. That's just, I mean, when you think about, like, how much time the pros, the pros have preseason mm-hmm. game one tonight. They've already been on the field for a month and a half, yeah. and now they got four more preseason games, you know, tonight well, I mean, included. You're, you're kind of expected to have the mental part down. Even now, um, still though, it does. It seems quick for football. It does, like it's yeah. a quick turnaround to go yeah, out there and take is. the field for mm-hmm. a first game, first arrival, like Triton. Yeah, never yeah. mind. Um, so you guys are gonna have to be ready. It's gonna be cram job here for a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. I'm excited about that. I mean, you always enjoy it. It's always stressful. I mean, it kind of comes with the sport. But how about the playbook? You got the same playbook as last year? Mixing it up? New I don't playbook? know if we can reveal that. <laughs> oh wow! Can I get anything out of this? It's. Um, it's just our playbook's not the broadest. It's something that everyone has to know, but when you get it, like it's it's good to run. It's understandable. It's a philosophy. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Very intriguing, Coach Smolsky. <laughs> Locked these guys down pretty good. It's like talking with a patriot. <laughs> Can't get anything out of them. Not um, to Miami. <laughs> not to Miami yet. The uh, does does Coach Smolsky have a little Belichick in him at all? Is there? Uh, um, I, I think he's definitely more enthusiastic than Belichick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Better with the media. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's better with the media. Um, all right, let's do a little. Uh, let's do a little bit of off the field stuff with you guys. How about uh, a quick little rapid fire, Jason? We'll start with you. All right. Um, favorite band. Favorite band. Uh, Led Zeppelin or Aerosmith. Wow, well, guys are an old school team. Favorite, <laughs> favorite movie. Man, this is a tough one. There was this one that came out a few years ago. It was called. Um, actually, I don't remember the name. It was just a football movie. It was really oh, good. Not I mean, good. He can't even remember the name. <laughs> I like that football movies. That is the movies. first one of those answers we've ever had. That's fantastic. Uh, all right. When, you, when it comes to you, let me know. Yeah. Um, it's a very strange answer. <laughs> Just a football movie. I like football movies. Football movies. All right. Uh, favorite class? 
Uh, I like lit. I like lit a lot. Okay. Favorite sport to watch uh, other than football? Probably basketball. Basketball. And then hockey when it comes in a Stanley Cup season. You play a winter sport? Uh, I play. I used to play basketball, but now I don't. You don't. All right. And um, what's a good one to end on? Favorite food? Sushi. Sushi? Definitely. You would be the first one of those <laughs> answers, too. I love sushi. You must be terrible at the pasta party. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like. I do like a nice pasta every once in a while. Wow, every Thursday right. night. You guys do that every Thursday still? Yes, we That's do. Mm-hmm. Do you get excited for someone? Who's, who's going to be the best host this year? Do you already know? Is there like somebody known? Well, normally that? we just do it at the school because we, uh, we have our pasta party after a walkthrough, and then we uh-huh. have okay. our... Um, yeah, football's tough because you got to bring such a big roster. It's yeah. tough to like, hey, come into the living room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although, do the people... Is there some houses that will do that? Or? We normally just do it at the school, honestly. Really? Like, we'll yeah. have our walkthrough practice, then we'll go into the cafeteria, eat, and then we'll have our speaker. Okay. Which is pretty fun. Cool. Uh, John Donovan, favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Probably The Office. Uh, that's a good answer. Um, favorite movie? Happy Gilmore. And there's a name to it and everything. Fantastic work. <laughs> <laughs> Showed you right up, Jason. Oh, Another good answer. All right, I'm feeling your answers here so far. Uh, favorite food? Uh, probably pizza. Yep. Uh, favorite class? Math. Math. Yeah. We might be differing there a little bit. <laughs> um, favorite sport to watch other than football? Hockey. Hockey. Yeah. Play too? Yeah. Uh, so you play you played this past year? Yes. Okay. I um I wasn't as familiar with the roster this year because I hadn't I used to call your games back in the Newburyport days. Oh yeah. Did you know that? I did not. Oh yeah. Well, wow, so that was a lot that was getting to be a while ago then. It's weird with you high school kids because it, it, it feels like like some of the kids that like I still had their like phone numbers from doing radio interviews and stuff and I'll be like, God, he graduated when? <laughs> like he's a senior in college now? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Um, playing for Coach Mean, it's a fun little uh, yeah. fun time. Mm-hmm. He's a good man. I like him a lot. Is he? Who's yeah. the tougher coach, Coach Mean or Coach Smolski? Oh, you have to answer that one too. I know, <laughs> I, I know them both. You can't get in trouble. Don't worry. Um, cue the Jeopardy music. <laughs> I'd say, I'd say. Smolsky, just because he's more <laughs> <laughs> good answer in season, yeah. I'd say. <laughs> Can dig yourself yeah. out of it in the winter. <laughs> yeah, um, they're both great coaches, though. I love them both, but they both love the sport. They both. Coach Mean's been there a little longer than uh, he has, Coach Smolsky. Is, yeah, he getting, is he getting lenient in his uh, later years? No, he's yeah. he's still he's still staying on top of everything. I know you guys drive him crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but last year, that like uh, that was a tough year for you guys. Last year, I mean, you battled, uh, yeah, you know, fighting towards the end. But, mm-hmm. um, th- was that one of those seasons that you could just tell everybody was like, "We're better than this. We're better than this." Yeah, we had a strong senior class, and we yeah. were hoping for better results, but no. it happens. So I did cut you off, though. You were saying nice things about your coaches. Continue. I, I didn't mean to do that. I should <laughs> never cut cut you off when you're doing that. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, they're just great coaches. Great to be around. Fun to have. Yeah. All right, good. It's important to have fun. Um, <laughs> Coach Mean will get a good laugh out of yeah. that. You might actually hear about that. Uh, <laughs> and you better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first practice hockey. We're doing sprints for one reason. <laughs> he's got a long memory, that man. I, he's, I, he's, I wonder how his golf game's doing, too. I meant to ask him. He's, he's, I think he's got to go on this year. I was talking to him the other day. Yeah. Um, do you golf, too? I don't. Hockey guys golf, no? No, um, don't. Yeah. All right, so you do... Hockey, football, so th- those are the two? And lacrosse. And lacrosse. Oh, yeah, yeah, you said that, and lacrosse. All right. Is it football, hockey, lacrosse? Is that the order for you? Yeah. Okay. How about you, Jason? Do you do any other sports? Uh, are you uh, in football all football year round? Football and round? baseball. Baseball, okay. Definitely football. Is that baseball. Coach Rowe on the baseball side? It is. Coach Rowe? That's right. I don't. He's like the one of the coaches I don't know too well. Yeah, he's kind of like in the shadows most of the time, but he does a hell of a job with the team. Yeah. How, um, well, you guys, I mean, that's down the line. How's the baseball team looking? Um, you even think about it yet or not? Really? <laughs> I mean, You're like it's football season. Yeah, I've definitely thought about it um, a little bit. I'm excited to see how Coglin does this year. Tyler Coglin is our captain. Yeah. Um, Expecting big things. Definitely, definitely. I, th- I think that this next coming year is definitely going to be a great year. Cool. Do you guys get excited for like the? Um, I mean, everybody seems to be a Patriots fan. Are you guys both Patriots fans? Yeah. Yes. I want somebody in here one day. I forget what team it was. It was like Pentucket or something. One of the guys was like, "I'm a, I'm a uh, Seattle Seahawks fan." I was like, wow. it's probably oh. Pentucket. <laughs> you guys both like, groaned on the. Uh, is that's another rivalry. It's funny. I, it's like, yeah. It, I don't know. I mean, who do you guys like beating the most? Pentucket. Sorry. <laughs> I really? Like, Pentucket? I mean, I feel like Pentucket 
like whenever we play them, it's definitely a difficult game. Yeah. They always play hard. They always fight hard. Uh, really chippy games. You do get a lot of answers to that question. That's why I think it's such a fascinating league because like so many people like hockey tritons kind of the common answer. Yeah. But like then a lot of those guys will tell you like I gotta be honest with you like sometimes it's Masco like <laughs> it's you yeah. know it's and that tends to be the answer for football a lot too like it seems yeah. like depending on who you ask like each individual player had, takes more satisfaction out of yeah. beating certain teams. But well, football is just like a super chippy sport. On any given day, you can get in a fight with any given yeah. kid. Well, you can have a one-on-one matchup that just makes <laughs> yeah. your day long as can be out exactly. there, right? Exactly. Cheap shots and that sort of stuff. Um, so, Pentucket is yours, though, huh? It is. All right. So I love playing that. Pentucket. Jason, Tomoyashi, likes <laughs> beating Pentucket the most, okay. Uh, John, how about you? What do you, who do you think the most satisfaction um, in beating? I'd say Triton, just because yeah. I'm friends with a bunch of kids out there, and it's, yeah. just, it's just nice to, like text them after the game be like hey nice job <laughs> yeah. out there yep the uh, we had the trait and athletic director the new athletic director on um on tuesday um and one of the things i was saying to him and i think he already knows and but if not he'll quickly learn is the one thing i always liked about the triton thing triton newburyport rivalry and i noticed it more on the hockey rink because some of those games get real chippy yeah um and they're like always close no matter how bad or how good the teams are um those games are always a battle and i always liked the like i never saw any like shenanigans in the handshake line afterwards like you could so you would sometimes yeah. see it with other teams like uh, you know you'd see, it's maybe some team comes out uh, and you know somebody says something in the line you see some pushing and coaches getting the yeah. way or whatever i never saw that even after the most chippy games between newburyport and triton and i always thought that was kind of a good staple of that rivalry yeah it's just because in hockey you're playing each team a couple times yeah so like and you know everyone on the team because the roster is not that big yeah. So buzzer goes off and it's just like, all right, that's it. We won, we lost, whatever it was. Yeah. Handshake and get off. That's kind of like a – that shows me that you guys have respect for them too yeah. you know, as, a, as, a, as a group. That's kind of the, the best thing you can say about that. So that's, yeah. I always thought that was a really cool thing. I've mentioned that to both coaches and Trayton's had several coaches over the years for hockey. Yamin has been there the whole time for Newburyport. Yeah. But I always mention that to the coaches and they always go, yep, we always like that. <laughs> that's a big moment for us. Um, Jason, favorite, uh, what's your favorite sport to go to at the high school? That I mean, for you guys have the benefit of playing football. Mm-hmm. Everybody, most answers are they like going to the football games. Is there any like sport you like going to see, basketball, hockey? Well, I mean, once going to the end of the season, those basketball games were unreal. They were fun, weren't they? Yeah. That one uh, when George Coriel stole the ball and hit that layup to win the game. That was that was absolutely electric. Yeah, that, that was, was crazy. an insane environment to be. We had him in here the next day, and I he was like, well, yeah, I just got to credit my teammates. I was like, no, 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 <laughs> not today. This is you today. Although no. the other, um, what's the kid, uh, Archie. Archie, hit the yeah, big that was, three of that game yeah. too. That right? was an incredible shot. Yeah, I yeah. think I retweeted that clip actually. That was you, yeah. Well, thank you because I that's I wasn't there. That's how I got to watch it. Uh, if that was you, um, good job, boys, being on Twitter. Don't forget you can follow us at Joppa Afternoons on Twitter. You should look too. Make sure we don't have any questions. I always put this out there to have people ask questions if they like our guest and uh, I think we just got the Don Lynn. Hopefully they like us. <laughs> yeah, well, you never know, right? Greg Choir liked here. Uh, he's, he's, in, he's on board today. Good to have you guys on board. Thank you for watching uh, watching or listening, Jason, Greg, wherever you are. Um, Jason Tamayoshi, John Donovan in the house, New Report Football, uh, as we get ready for, well, the spring practice, not not spring practice, the uh, fall what, what do you call this? this preseason. Is like preseason practice. Yeah, yeah whatever. Um, preseason practice for football game uh, the first week of September. So we're ramping up. Patriots are in action tonight, Thursday night football for the Patriots. Um, and that is, uh, I guess, exciting. I said at the beginning, I don't really get excited about pre- preseason football. Do you? No. It's, I like the regular season better. Yeah. I mean, they never play Brady in the preseason. So. I know. Did you get scared with the whole Brady talk this week? Yeah. House on the market? Mm-hmm. I don't like hearing that. <laughs> I had full confidence that he would sign back with us. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried about that situation. I don't think he wants to learn a whole new playbook. Yeah, yeah when your wife makes that much money, I don't think you need to move. <laughs> no, but I do think, yeah, there is there are some weird dynamics there, though. But, uh, you know, I guess it's typical player-coach ownership stuff. Mm-hmm. Play, they're never all truly happy, even when they're millionaires. <laughs> um, refereeing at the football level, uh, at the high school football level. <laughs> They try their best. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's tough to get everything because there's so much going on every time. Yeah, and I feel like you must get victimized the worst because those guys I, on the li- yeah you're like thank yes, you for saying that yes. because I agree with you because uh, I you know I'll even watch some games and I'll be like there is a, that kid is a clear mismatch and yeah. so the other kid's clearly holding him every play yeah um, and uh, you know just if you're not calling it it's like you know 
Yeah, Come on, I'm just better. Yeah, <laughs> they, they don't see everything, and yeah. when you are blocking, it's just you have it's a certain way you have to do it, or else it is a flag. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. there's never a game where all the calls go one way. They that's true. They go both ways. So there's always something each team can be a little bit angry about, but it's it's never on purpose or anything. Do you have to? Um, I mean, pass interference, of course, is a quite, even a, even at the pro level is mm-hmm. a disastrous call. I, have you ever? Have you been looked at officials and been like, you got to be kidding me? Yeah, yep. hands on the that's head, a, hands in the air. <laughs> that's that's your move. There you go. <laughs> Come on, and uh, I would I can imagine. I'm just looking at you, and I from what I hear, you're a bit of a beast there, especially on the <laughs> defensive end, John. Uh, I can imagine there's some days where you get penalized for just being like bigger and stronger than the guy in front of you. Yeah, not as much anymore, just because guys are catching up a little. Yeah, but like <laughs> definitely being younger, just being bigger than other kids just yeah. happens but no. you just give me a penalty for throwing into the ground <laughs> really that is not that's not a penalty pancake <laughs> just, city i pushed him what'd you say pancake city pancake city is that a, is that a uh, saying pancake city uh it's mind? just when you you're blocking oh someone. i can imagine what it is yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. flatten them all right very good and then uh so yeah i can i can see where you the high school refereeing in all sports can be a little a little dicey, but that's probably yeah. just part of it. Part yeah. of good teams is knowing that you're not going to get every call, I guess. I feel like that's any sport, really, at any level. I mean, you can never expect a call to go a certain way. It yeah. always just happens. I hear you. Um, all right, final thoughts here, boys. Why don't we give a little pitch to the uh, Newburyport faithful uh, to come out and watch Newburyport football football this year? Okay. Um, we're expecting a lot this year, so be great to see as many people to cheer us on out there how, how important i mean you guys actually notice it right when you have a home field advantage like when that place is jumping like it really does lift you guys up doesn't it yeah i, I mean i remember sophomore year uh first game of the season linfield it's the first time i step onto a field as a varsity athlete and i mean you, you take a, a good 10 seconds just to take everything in and you'll never have that moment back again it's insane you look around you see everybody cheering you on in the stands and then you see you see the Linfield fans too, but it's like <laughs> you never get that moment back, and yeah. it's really special. Do you guys have to settle down the younger dudes sometimes? Like you're gonna have to like there's probably a freshman. Like think yeah. about how nervous you guys are. Picture yeah. being a freshman. Like you guys are like almost like you know you guys are like young men. Freshmen are legitimately <laughs> like they're boys. They're middle school last year. You know <laughs> they're babies. Like do you, I mean I know you, a lot of that. You guys probably give them a hard time at practice and stuff. But when it comes to game time, you're probably looking out for them a lot too, right? Yeah, especially like remembering last year, like like the first game stepping out like the older kids just being like just relax just do your thing you're here for a reason those moments stuck with you those yeah, li- yeah. It's, it's good to see and it just kind of recollects your thoughts and it's good to pass that down to the other kids it probably does actually like those it, mm-hmm. i can tell it stuck with you do you yeah. remember who's, who was saying that to you uh seamus webster <laughs> running back on yeah Stern. i have to agree seamus webster was definitely <laughs> definitely that guy oh good for him made sure he got to you guys mm-hmm. maybe that's because you were shaking out there <laughs> <laughs> shaking in our boots after five hours of worrying at yeah. home beforehand <laughs> that's funny so it's good to, it's, it seems good that you guys were, are aware of that stuff though because it is i mean mm-hmm. bright lights on a friday night no matter how much you prepare for that stuff it can catch you off guard sometimes yeah. mm-hmm. never mind being how old are you as, how old are you as a freshman i don't even know 14 14 yeah, 14 it's so young my goodness um, yeah, it's, it's also great to see um all like the varsity kids after a game day coming out on the next day like on a saturday oh yeah coming out to see the jv games i mean it's just supporting the younger guys is great it cultivates tradition and competition and it's just it's great to see that stuff. Do you guys have any kids that are like, uh, you know, are like great athletes and are just like being lazy during football season? You're like, man, we could use you. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. There are a lot of kids who. <laughs> so we please wish. don't name drop. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, if you look at what Amesbury did last year and why they were so incredibly good was because they took all their kids who played other sports and weren't yeah. in season during the fall, and were like, hey, come along for the ride. I mean. Look at what they did. They they accomplished so much more than they had in like the past what like ten years. Yeah. It was incredible to see that and even more incredible to play against that. But yeah. I feel like if we did that we could definitely be like we could take where we are to the next level. Cool. Well, there you go. That's all the incentive you need, I think, to go see Newburyport football. Uh, you guys have been great. I hope you enjoyed it. That was fun. Yeah, thank, thank you for having very us. Much. We'll, have, we'll have you on uh, maybe in season here at some point. <laughs> that work for you? Yeah. Get a few wins, make some headlines, come on in. <laughs> yep. Uh, be good. Jason Tomiyashi, John Donovan, uh, a few of the leaders on the Newburyport Clippers football squad this year. Uh, they get to camp, preseason camp to the 16th, and then uh, that first week of September, football begins uh, with a game first Triton. Is that home or away? That is a way. Yeah. Oh, wow. Tough first Enemy test. Yeah. Hopefully, go travel to the Triton uh, 
the whole five minutes. <laughs> the whole yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's no excuse not to uh, have a uh, have a good Newburyport representation there. Yeah. So uh, so make sure that'll be a fun atmosphere to opening night. So uh, good luck, boys. It's been a pleasure having you, and uh, we'll see you during the season. All right. Thank you Thank very you. much. We'll be much right back here with much more afternoon drive on Joppa Radio. My name is Drew Mulholland on a beautiful Thursday in Newburyport. Keep it here. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back to afternoon drive on Joppa Radio. My name is Drew Mulholland. Thursday afternoon, Newburyport weekend insights. Very excited about that. Um, and we're almost made it to Friday, so that's good. Uh, big thanks to Jason Tomiyashi and John Donovan. They were great, very polite, very good answers. Very. Oh, yeah, I'm in charge of that thing. That's right. I forgot about the whole TV thing. Oh, I got to do it. Hang on one second. <laughs> I love the effort. Thank you. There we go. Wait. There. Yeah, there I am. Sorry, see that? This is what happens when I lose my producers, folks. You just end up no, no video or something goes wrong. Hi, I'm here. Okay, so a uh, big thanks to Jason Tomiyashi and John Donovan, Newburyport Football. Very polite, very good answers, thoughtful, nice guys, and I think very good football players, too, from what I hear. So uh, that should be fun. Always nice when you have easy guys to root for. Uh, Lexi Foley is in the house, and now Jess Harrington is joining us as well. They're going to be my producer segment guest here today. Um, hello, ladies. How are you? Hey. Hi. Good. good. Um, yeah, Lexi, you were here for the show. They were, they were good guys, huh? They were good. Very polite. Yeah, Lexi, sometimes I can tell like when Lexi's like really entertained. First, uh, she'll give like a, a scale in her voice. <laughs> um, like when she really is into it, she's like, "That was fantastic." She's honest. Yeah, it's just yeah, probably probably too <laughs> honest. Um, but that's good to have. I don't know how football works. <laughs> oh, maybe we should we should we have talked more about that? <laughs> I have no idea. How the, the X's game and works. O's. One hundred and one. You have no idea how the game works. No what? idea. Didn't you like go to high school? I did. <laughs> I didn't she go she didn't games. go to many games. That's like the one thing you learn in high school is like football. I <laughs> yeah. I missed that. Did you go to games? Nope. Really? Really? I never went to games. I filmed them here. True. Yeah. I directed them. So you okay. felt like you were there. That makes sense. And you still didn't learn. Look at even even you've now mortified Jess. <laughs> never went to the football games. I mean, they were very polite guys. I just don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> they are very polite. Well. Uh, Maybe we'll teach you sometimes, uh, Lexi. I don't know. Um, Jess, what's new with you? What's new? Um, well, this is my second this time on the here. radio this is like today. Blocking you. Second time on the radio. Yeah. You're getting, so. you getting overworked, tired. Not at all. We just ordered pizza. So wow. Yeah, nice. it's good. a good day. Aren't There's you? Can you eat pizza? Aren't you kind of? It's a, vegan uh, pizza. Oh, very exciting. But you can't eat it because you're keto. True. I can. I can. You, I'm you a can keto cheat. cheater. Yeah. yeah. I'm a vegan cheater. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it though. I'm okay. ashamed. Ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the um yeah, it's 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 tough sticking yeah, those Yeah, you got to make Vegan, it sustainable. Vegan's really hard. I wouldn't like, say it's hard at all. Really? Oh, I feel well, like keto well, is hard. There's a lot of You vegan. can't eat carbs. I can eat mm. all the carbs I want. Yeah. You can't eat carbs. But vegan like when you actually do vegan, there's there's not much, like you couldn't have pizza if it was just yeah, vegan. You eat vegan pizza. Oh yeah. Or you get it with my dad. So my dad went vegan except he cheats like me and he eats fish. You so can't, it's like vegans can't do fish, right? No, you don't yeah. eat any animal products, but I'll eat fish mm. in the summer because I'm from Newburyport, and uh, it's a guilty pleasure, and this my dad is a good day to be, me. This is a good day to be talking about this. Did you see uh, Burger King came up with the mm. vegan, vegan like, Impossible Whopper? Yes. Yeah, and you what? know what? Subway is also doing the Beyond Meat meatballs soon. Wow. Yeah. Is like, this something people are like really excited about in the vegan community? Or? Oh, absolutely, just because it's such like a sustainability win, also a win for animals. So like we're obviously reducing the amount of animals that we're killing. Yeah. for food and also the amount of uh, resources that we're using to raise animals. Oh, so. I saw that story today and I thought about, well, I actually thought about you too. I thought about all my vegan friends. I don't have that many. Actually. <laughs> it's like a handful of you, but uh, it's, yeah, it seems like a big thing. Um, you girls are both going back to school pretty soon. Dates again? I'm going back to school on the 24th, the same. Yeah, same, same time. Uh, what, name the schools again. just so, that so I go to Temple in Philly. So it's Temple University. Temple! Represent. Temple Owl, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I you go to Linden State in Vermont. You're just starting. I show up. Yeah, your first year. First oh year. You remember first year, Jess? Absolutely. Funnest year. Yeah. Well, the first two years really were the funnest, funnest years because you're yeah. not so stressed. Some people have different experiences, though, but in my experience. Yeah. I, I had a lot of fun my first year. I, uh, I... I wish I, I let my I didn't let them drop too bad, but I, I did. It was my worst academic year of the four. I think that's the toughest academic year is that freshman year. For all you kids starting, try to get off to a good start academically. There's so much more to do, and it's like, oh my god, I'm on my own. This is awesome. 
but and then like we look back at a senior and, and you're like oh man i did really good like my last three years once i kind of got settled that first year really dragged me down you know um, oh. it is yeah i hear that story a lot too so i mean it makes sense you just think about it. it's a whole new world you're learning new stuff but i don't know i guess I that know. would be that would be my advice be careful of uh get get off to a good start if you can there you go yeah. see that, that's my words of wisdom lexi I like one it. thing about the first two years was that i didn't get involved with clubs or anything and then my did not get involved yeah, like yeah. At all, but my last year i I started a club and now I'm like in another club and I'm just so involved all over the school and it's really fun. Yeah. Way more cool. That is good advice. People. That doesn't mean don't get involved with grades. That, you know, it is great to get involved. There's so much yeah. stuff to do and if you can, you know, it's all about time management, right? That might be the biggest thing you learn in college, really. Yeah. When you're, when it all said and done is like how to manage like through issues and scheduling and all that stuff. I don't know. I think there's something to that. I guess that's why the whole experience is part of it. Um, you excited? I'm very excited. I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go. Get out of here. Like, yeah. Get out of Newburyport. So happy. You, you'll be itching to come back at some point. I'm up, at like, in point. the mountains. Y- yeah. Are you, a mount- are you a mountain girl? I don't know. You hope so? We'll find out. <laughs> That's funny. Seems, the, um, seems like a nice place to, like, study. It is. It's very pretty. You're literally in between two mountains, so the view is gorgeous. Like, the yeah. sun sets in between them. Like, the sky's bright. Like, it's so nice. Afternoon hike. Yeah, they have uh-huh. so many hiking trails. They yeah. have, like, sports clubs. Like, they have kayaking. Wow. Like, there's so much. They have a rock wall inside the building. Wow. And there's probably other college stuff to do, too, if I had to guess. Yeah, that's yeah. too. <laughs> but, no, very nice. The nature aspect of it is fantastic. Um, Jess, how is that? What year are you going into now? So it's going to be my last year. This is senior year for you? Yeah. Wow. And I'm very jealous of you because you're going to have all that <laughs> nature around you. I don't have any nature. Are you like in the city? So very in the city. That's, yeah, That's North, cool North though, though too. I like the, I was a city person. I mean, I was Providence. Philly is a cool city. Philly's crazy. It, 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 I'm also not right in Center City, so it's North Philadelphia. So we're very much in like neighborhood residential areas. So when you go out, do you go like out on the center town in Philly? Okay, yeah, we'll Center City. Center city. Yeah. yeah. We pretty much have to Uber everywhere. Or yeah. We, or we could take the... Uh, the L, but the L. It's also kind of risky. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the um, do they have like camp bar campuses? But no, we're bar campuses. Who says that? Yeah, bars aren't campus. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're technically a dry campus, but we do have one bar that's like on campus. And we Temple have is one. dry. Technically, but we have really? a bar, so it's not. It's, it's kind of a loose, dry campus. Yeah. It. Yeah, we have like two on campus, so. Interesting. But it's just so much more fun to go out in the city and like explore. Yeah what's really popping and like going on do you get like college deals too do they do they uh look out for the college kids at all well they're yeah our so our two camp our two bars on campus are like pretty affordable yeah. what about in the city though do they those are not, not they don't, uh, they're not thinking about you at all not at all so no. that was the cool thing like when i went to school in providence that was a same deal like w- there was a campus bar too but like when you went off you would either there were like bars around the campus that were definitely like catering to the school or you could go into like the real city of Providence, and then that's where they didn't care about you. Yeah, we have a lot of schools in Philadelphia. That's so true. Yeah, we have like Drexel, U Penn, some other schools. I don't know, but those are the big ones. Like, do you visit? Do you have like friends at the other I've schools? Been, I don't have friends there, but I've yeah. been there yeah, yeah. for social purposes. But um, yeah, I don't go a lot. Okay. But it's a nice area. Their schools, uh, probably a little more spread out in Vermont, I would guess, right? Yeah, I'm like an hour outside of like a good town. Yeah, <laughs> a like good it's, town. Well, it's like they have a gas station and a convenience store. Yep. And that's it. That's their downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. How, uh, how far from Burlington? Like an hour. Yeah. Hour and a half. Yeah, I bet you guys will do that some nights. You would talk about oh, I definitely will. Yeah. That's not too far. It's to such try. a cool... I have you been there? No, I've been nowhere. Yeah, I, I remember you saying that. I didn't know if you'd been since. The Burlington is like... Well, I, I used to go... Back in the when I was in college, really, um, I used to go up there quite a bit, a couple times a year. And uh, Burlington is like one of the coolest cities. It looks so cool. Like I'm so excited to go. I just want to go like explore everything. Yeah. It's easy. You get like a you know get a responsible driver. I'll pile into one yeah. car. And Canada is also like 30 <laughs> minutes away from the school. Yes. So I do, <laughs> you could be bouncing up to Montreal a little yeah, bit. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to Montreal this this not ne- this weekend, but next weekend. Oh yeah. I've never been. Yeah, yeah, Montreal is blessed. It I, looks I, very nice. I went up there for, I've been there a few times. Um, the last time I was there was for uh, 
Bruins a Bruins game, which is a That's weird experience. Yeah. It is, yeah. I, I, you know, you wear a Bruins jersey up there. You really got to be make sure you keep your head on straight, like, and not be looking for trouble because they will they will push you a little bit. It's, uh, it's the same thing with um, Philly and Boston. Really? So if you're like, especially when we were in the Super Bowl with them, oh, yeah, and I would yeah. be dressed at the town like yeah. Patriots, and like people would be rioting like on campus, like basically uh, yeah. on campus. And someone would, would like yell to me across the street, like "You better watch out!" Like, <laughs> and I'm like, "I'll be okay." Like I'm like going. That home. must have been a tough night being there for it that. It was crazy. Yeah, I was in my so there was only one other Patriots fan at the like party that I was at, like the viewing party. Oh, that's a tough watch and cry. I know. I had to just like hang on to him, <laughs> like you're my buddy. And then they won, and I threw on my my friend's Eagles jersey, and just like obviously yeah, went yeah. out into the streets. There were fireworks. You put on an Eagles jersey? Just yeah, I had to. <laughs> just to get by. <laughs> you had to. That is. I mean, funny. I was there for it. Like I was celebrating. I mean, obviously, I'm a I'm a Patriots fan forever, but you also to like be a party. in the city yeah. of Philadelphia, no. <laughs> yeah. But like, I'm I'm happy that other people are happy and there celebrating. So. Well, that's nice. The it's, uh, good time. it's funny. My cousin is the exact same age as you, and he, but he's down in coastal Carolina, and uh, he said that like he was in the same situation. Like he was one of the, like I think maybe he said the only Patriots fan in a room of like 75 for that game, mm-hmm. um, or like maybe bigger. I don't even know. It was huge. Mm-hmm. He said. Um, and I remember saying, I was like, you were the only one? He's like, it was amazing. And the Coastal Carolina, too, not really any rooting interest, not like right. being in Philly. Um, he was like, just everybody was just against the Patriots. Against and he said that. it was so weird watching a game in that way. But yeah. Yeah, tough loss. Anyway, they yeah. get started tonight with preseason football. So. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Yes. It's exciting. I, very I exciting. You're wearing your Patriots I am. Shirt. See, I kind of, I think these things yeah, are sometimes, too. I'm very stylish like and try to, we try to be with Match. the times and all that. Yeah, hip. <laughs> I'm so not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got lucky. It was on the top shelf today. <laughs> um, weekend plans real quickly. Ten seconds each. Weekend plans. Uh, I'm, anything good? I'm actually having a beach cleanup on the Palm Island Point. If you want to come, it's at 6 p.m. Everyone's welcome to join. When's that? Saturday. Oh, yeah. good pitch. Saturday at 6 p.m. Very good usage yeah. of 10 seconds. Absolutely. Lexi, follow that up. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Lexi's coming. <laughs> I'll show up. Yeah. Good answer. Great. Uh, Jack will be there. He's shooting for us. I'll have my wisdom teeth out. True. No, oh, we could have talked more so about that. Jack. We'll do that next time. <laughs> um, big thanks. Jason Tomiyashi, John Donovan. Um, fun week here on Jump Afternoon Drive. We appreciate it. Have a great weekend. My name is Drew Mulholland. Big thanks to Jess and Lexi as well. Uh, be safe this weekend, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye now.